Eh, lo berdua ya, gue manahin nih, jagain martabak gue, gue mau mandi dulu, coba macam-macam lo pada ya. Semua ini personal. Super pretty exciting tutorial, and here's my brother playing Dota 2. Hi! <laughs> and there's the cameraman eating hamburger. I would like to buy a burger! Anyway, today we're gonna be learning three things. First, 2D tracking. Second, 3D tracking. And third, how to throw a fork into your friend's head without hurting him. How? Let's just jump into the tutorial. <laughs> so, first of all, the 2D tracking. So I found this amazing 2D tracking software called Fade In. And in the short skit you just saw, it was actually involving 2D tracking software, which is the text right here. And believe me, it was one of the best and easiest software I've ever used. All right, guys, so here we are inside After Effects and we're gonna track this text here using this fade in software which is a pretty pretty crazy software because it's really easy to use but really powerful because uh, every time i track with this software is all is always a good track so um first of all of course you're gonna have your video here drag it into your com new composition and then boom there you go so all you're gonna do is make sure you click the layer and then go to effect and then fade tag and then fade in click ok and then um, next, all you're gonna do is go to the fade in window. If you don't have this fade in window here, you, you can go to window and then just make sure you click the fade in and then you will have the window and then you can put it anywhere. I put it here. And then all you're gonna do is find your composition, which is this one, as you can see here. This. And then right click and then add track. So all you're gonna do now is uh, track. Uh, choose the tracking area so you can uh, have two met method which is the rectangle region tracker or the mask region tracker now I love this so much because all you can do um, you can do um, just basically just pick the area you want to track just like so boom 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 and then uh, you're gonna choose the area type which is a static or moving of course it's static and then start so if you uh, for example if you want to track some uh, moving car you can use this one dynamic area but this one is of course it's not moving so it's static area so all you gotta do is press start boom and then you're gonna wait until the program has finished tracking alrighty now that it's done as you can see here it's a very 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 good track even though um, my cousin here is kinda walking away as you can see here the track is still there is really really good so all you gotta do now we gonna um, insert the footage that you wanna put it there for me of course this text that I already edited inside Photoshop and then choose this yes boom there you go and also you can change the size and then you can change the corner correction here so if you click it you can change the corner offset so basically to match your scene as you can see here boom and then a little bit down here to the bottom right up here a little bit 
boom and there you go so you can even change the uh, gamma of your uh, object here so it will match even more to your scene so as you can see here I'm gonna pick the white which is um, let's see this one it's supposed to be white by the way <laughs> or probably this one I'm sorry so boom there you go and then the black one for example this so you can see here it uh, it will matched your scene even more and of course you can download the trial for 30 days on their website so make sure you check it out i really recommend you guys to use this software because it's very very easy and yet very very powerful you can do a lot with this software and i'll make another tutorial for it soon now this is important because you don't want to literally throw a fork into your friend's head <laughs> so of course it's gonna be some editing effect and cut to cuts effect so all you're gonna do is to have two shots like these one like this and one like this and then all you need to do is to trim it in the right time easy peasy all right the last one will be the 3d tracking all right guys so here we are inside After Effects and this is the scene that we are going to uh, do uh, 3D tracking. So, so you can see here, we go. you can go to Tracker and uh, you can see the Track Camera. So just click that and all you're going to do is wait because After Effects is going to do it automatically. Almost. Alright. So, there you go. It's done. So you got a bunch of tracking points here which is to represent 3d scene all right now all you're gonna do is click create camera and boom now you have a 3d camera that represent the real camera on your scene if you already got a camera then uh, means it's already 3d um, camera here so you can put any 3d object and it will look 3d inside this scene so for this I'm gonna be using the element 3d which is a third-party plugins which is which is of course you have to buy it separately from After Effects from videocopilot.net with this, you can import a 3D object. Right, so create a new solid and then make sure you click that solid and then go to Effect, Video Code Pilot and then Element 3D. And then go to Scene Setup. Um, you can import your OBJ, uh, whatever that is, uh, OBJ file. For me, I'm gonna use uh, the fork from the fresh food uh, pack here. Boom, click OK. And then you should have your fork right there. So if you go to Group 1, and then the par particle rep replicator here you can rotate the object so you can see there you go that is our fork now if you want to match the uh, reflection a little bit to your scene you can actually uh, use uh, a real um, photo of your scene or you can just use something that uh, close to it so go to scene setup for me here and then go to environment and you can change this to uh, something that's uh, really close to my scene. So let's see. Um, 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 studio is kind of warm looking just like my uh, scene here. So it's going to be perfect. So OK, OK, and boom. And then all you're going to do is uh, try to match the color and anything. Uh, you can go to world transform, I think. Nope. <laughs> you can go to, um, let's see, render settings. Um, where is it? Reflection? Nope. Environment, there you go. Uh, you can rotate it, I believe. Rotate environment, and then you can rotate it until you think uh, it's, uh, it's already matched to your scene. So, let's kind of play with it. And well, you get the point. <laughs> so, until you think it's uh, messed, and then you can go to effects, uh, car correction, and then curve. And you can play with the RGB color to even match the scene even more. Put down a little bit green. Let's see, blah blah blah. You get the point, and there you go. And then you can go to uh, color correction and then hue and saturation and play also because my scene is pretty flat so saturation I'm gonna put it down and then the lightness let's see boom there you go so you get the point as you can see here it's already 
in the 3D scene. So as you can see here, uh, the fork is actually like it's there. All you gotta do next is animate it. Woohoo! Really easy. So. Um, where's the element 3d <laughs> so I just use this three rotation and then the uh, where is the uh, position Z and then position X Y also so you can click U on this solid layer and then it will show you all of the keyframes and then you can start animated so for example I'm gonna rotate it like this and then like this <laughs> and then um, the position probably go like this and then as you can see here it's actually moving and that's the whole point you can animate it all you want because it's already in 3d scene all right guys so that's it pretty pretty easy <laughs> all right guys that's it that's how i did the short skits i hope you find this story useful and uh, don't forget to like and share and uh, share this video and subscribe to our channel and uh, <clears throat> like our facebook page and see you in the next cool videos and tutorials ciao